Ciao ragazzi, welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Jonathan and I'm doing travel and fitness related content. Today, I'm pleased to be taking you on another Italian adventure with us. We're leaving from Prague and our first destination will be Verona, a beautiful city in Northern Italy and well known for its famous Roman antiquities, such as the Roman amphitheater and Juliet's balcony. We'll be spending two days here to explore the rich history of the town and of course, indulge in some delicious Italian cuisine. After Verona, we'll be headed to Lago di Garda, Italy's largest lake and well known for its crystal clear waters, its stunning scenery and picturesque villages. We will be spending time here at three different locations all around Lake Garda to get the best experience possible. I'm happy to take you on this itinerary with us and I hope you will enjoy the video as much as we will enjoy it here. Now let's hit the road. Today, after an 11 hour drive, we finally made it. We went straight to bed and this morning we're here in Verona, a 10 minute walk from our bed and breakfast. And we're here behind me, you have the Roman amphitheater. From what I read, it's actually older than the one in Rome itself. So that's very interesting. Later we might go in, but now we're going to uh, find the pasticceria to have a coffee and some breakfast. Follow along. We're starting off our breakfast here in Pasticceria Barini. We've got two cornetto, one with crema, one with pistachio, and two cappuccini. Pistachio cream is very good. A lot of people coming. It's a good place. First recommendation, Pasticceria Barini. That's how to start the morning, right? Cornetti, cappuccini, a sweet breakfast. Now it's time for some sightseeing. So we're here at Juliet's balcony, and there is Juliet's statue, and everyone is standing in line because apparently, when you rub, rub her right breast, you will have luck in love. But luckily, I already have luck in love. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Did you think I want to say it? So apparently this is all fiction. Juliet was not even a real person. And she never lived here. But nevertheless, there's a lot of people coming here to make pictures and touching the breast for luck. Just want to touch the breast. Yeah, they just want to touch the breast. Yeah. <laughs> Sneaky little perverts. <laughs> Moving on to the next uh, destination. So we're now at the bridge called Ponte Pietra, and it's very beautiful. The surroundings are very nice. The water is very clear as well. And then we're climbing up there to Castello San Pietro. So we just made it to the top of Castello San Pietro. For the views. So we are at Trattoria Molinara. I found this place randomly on Instagram and it looks like a super local place because there are just two Italian people around us and yeah, the food looks great. We got also as a starter like antipasti mortadella with super fluffy milky bread. So we have one pasta with guanciale and pistachio pesto and this one is cacio e pepe with uh, lemon and cheese fondue. Now we have a beef tartare with caramelized onions. Those are almonds. Yeah, good. So we just had a great lunch here and the pastas were very rich and the tartare was amazing. 
that was really good so now with our bellies full we're going to walk around a little bit more so we are at the trattoria via stella once again starting off with bread So I've got bigoli con le sarda, basically pasta with sardines, sardine sauce, sardines, yeah. And Valeria has gnocchi with horse meat ragu. Mm, I'm uh, ready to dig in. Yeah, you would not say it's horse. <laughs> That's what I do. Of course, even more lean meat, I think. Mm. For our main course, we have beef steak and amareno sauce, which is a red wine sauce. Can you taste the wine? Yeah. That's good. It's a bit juicy. Very, very, very. Like it. But that's how you eat it. That's why. Right. Yeah. Said you need to eat it on the raw side. Yeah. Yeah. And for dessert, Valeria wants the tiramisu. Chocolate powder on top. It's not bitter. Or it's really very chocolatey. Mm -hmm. So we just got out of the restaurant. We ate our bellies full. Very Everything was very good. Service as well. Everything came very fast. Staff is also very friendly, and the steak was a bit too rare for our taste but yeah that's just a preference but anyway top quality we're going to maybe walk a little bit more and then go back to the hotel room relax and sleep and get ready for the next day so see you guys tomorrow the tiramisu yeah that was also very good because i want checked out of our Airbnb, packed our bags into the car and then went for breakfast here. I think it's called Camelo, Camesco. <laughs> it doesn't matter. But right, then it was good. Camesco? Yeah. Camesco. Camesco, they have different feelings like... Fruity ones as well. Fruity, yes. But we just went Some with the... sandwiches like it's a little bit less cla Ita Italian classical more like... Coffee shop. So now we're headed to Juicy Gardens. It should be like a 23 yeah, minute walk. 23 minutes. Getting some steps in. Go to the, check out the garden and maybe we'll stick around for a little longer, have lunch here. And then we're off to Lake Garda. We're now sitting in front of the Duomo behind me past this panificio. I didn't film inside but in the end we took a piece of focaccia and amazing. If you're nearby, maybe when you go to Ponto Pietra, then there's this panificio nearby and they make this uh, organic bread. It's artisan and it tastes amazing. The focaccia is really good. Information? How much do we pay? 10 euro? As you can probably see, it's very beautiful here and calm and the air is quite fresh. It's a lovely place. I recommend it to come here and spend some time. Check 
the apartment. We just walked around all over the garden. Very nice. So let's check out the apartment. And then we're moving on to the next one. Alright, so the food came. I've got gnocchi with courgette pesto and scallops. And Valeria has the risotto al amarone, the classic Veronese dish. So we're going to try it out. <laughs> it has the wine taste. It has sourness from wine. Mm. So we just got out of the restaurant. The gnocchi with scallops is very good. The scallops are very soft, buttery, very light and tasty as it should be. The classic dish, the amarone risotto, I didn't really like that much to be honest, but of course once you're, when you're here you have to try it. So that's what we did. Yeah. I think one o'clock now and time to slowly make our way to Lago di Garda. Okay, that was Verona, a nice little city or town. One or two days is enough. And I also wanted to say regarding the restaurants that we went to, um, La Molinara, this one was the best actually. The pasta was so rich and tasty and also the best price. So all three restaurants are recommendations, but if you need to choose one, if I need to pick one, then La Molinara for sure a winner. Okay, let's hit the road once again to Lake Garda. So we arrived at our second accommodation here in Lago di Garda and it's absolutely amazing. Let me show you around. We have a bed here. We're going to be waking up to this view. Mm hmm, yeah. Palm tree. And the mountains. So we can just relax here in the garden, soak up some sun, have breakfast here, and really just enjoy and relax in the nature. So yeah, this is how it looks. Let's go back inside. We're going to um, cook some food because it took us quite a while to get here. We were doing some groceries. Here we have the kitchen. Going to cook some food. And yeah, then I guess we go outside again. It's a beautiful weather, very clear. You can do San Michel, Melchisino, San Michel, Montebaldo. Mm. So we just spent our first night here in Lago di Garda, and I mean, just look at this. Who doesn't want to wake up like that with the mountains in front of us and the lake surrounded by nature? It's very peaceful, calm and serene. Anyway, we were planning our activities for today and the rest of the days. So let me tell you what we are up to next. So we are currently staying at Garda Doma, located in the province of Asenza. We will be spending three more nights here before heading to another location up north in Dro. Afterwards, we will spend two more nights in Sirmiona, down at the bottom of the lake. And we'll be staying at the hotel slash spa resort. And then we will see whether we want to go maybe for another day to Milan or not. So anyway, if you are interested in following along with this trip and if you enjoyed this video, then please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you for watching and see you around. Bye! <laughs>